a milestone event, as we've been chatting uh, here in the crowd. Uh, something, a first of its kind, really, uh, in terms of, of how we partner with, uh, with industry, with uh, the R&D community and government in, uh, in, in searching uh, or looking for sustainable solutions to uh, infrastructure uh, challenges. Uh, how better way to, uh, to, to uh, commemorate it than with a recycled plastic bridge that's going to hold an M1 tank of a monster. Uh, just, I mean, I'm, I'm an old mech head, and I'm going to have to see it to believe it, of course. Remember, this is on this installation, this is a first of three. The second bridge has already been load tested, and the third bridge, I guess it's up the creek or maybe down the creek, downstream. Uh, and then the third one, we'll, uh, we'll be gr uh, breaking ground on in about uh, a month or two. So, and then if everything goes the way we would plan it to go, uh, because we like to think of ourselves here at Fort Bragg as innovators, and leaders of new technologies, this takes root in the rest of the force. The bridge that sat on this very site had deteriorated to such a point that it needed to be replaced. It had a military load capacity of 4.3 tons. Keep that in mind. Across the Department of Defense, there are literally hundreds of bridges that are threatened by a common enemy, corrosion. If you think about that for a moment, Corrosion is almost in, inevitable, given time, age, and, in, and exposure to the environment, something is going to deteriorate over time. So we have to work on this. It's, a, it's in paramount importance to the Department of Defense that we try to do this. So when you're faced with the situation that a bridge needs to be replaced, you have to consider the following, the type of structure to be built, do I want to use wood? Do I want to use reinforced concrete or iron? The cost to replace the structure, the loss of that route for some period of time, and that an alternate route will have to be used, which could limit the training time available or it could increase the cost of fuel to move from one spot to the, to the other. The Office of the Secretary of Defense sponsored a series of studies by the Logistics Management Institute to determine the cost of corrosion to the Department of Defense. The latest of those studies shows that the department spends $22.5 billion annually on equipment and infrastructure as an impact of corrosion. For the Army, this number is approximately $5.8 billion annually. As a result, the department has dedicated itself to the pursuit and demonstration of technologies to enhance corrosion prevention and control and reduce the financial readiness and safety impacts of corrosion. This bridge has been given a 73-ton rating for track vehicles and an 88-ton rating for wheeled vehicles. It's less expensive to build than its alternatives, it provides greater corrosion resistance, and it is practically maintenance-free. The Army estimates that we will receive a 34 to 1 return on investment by using this technology in these bridge applications. And uh, my last departing thought is going to be stolen from Army commercials. Others may build strong bridges, but this bridge was built Army strong. Oh, Have a good day. <laughs>